Stephen Bradbury and the gold medal that came eight years late. Australia's first ever gold medal winner at the Winter Olympics, Stephen Bradbury, has opened up about his last man standing victory at Salt Lake City in 2002, saying, It's hard to say how my life would have panned out if I'd won in the traditional way. With the Pyeongchang Games just days away from starting, and Australia looking unlikely to clean up medal wise, with bookmakers Ned's listing the Aussies $1,001 shots at topping the medal tally, Ned's rating Norway $1.90 favourites ahead of Germany at $2.50. There is renewed interest in the man whose efforts led to the creation of the saying, Dunna Bradbury. The speed skater took out the 1,000 m short track individual event, a race in which he was coming dead last, before the four other competitors all went down, taking each other out with the finish line just meters away. Writing for Player's Voice, Bradbury confessed he struggled with the decision to accept his medal, and admitted if he had his time over, he would have done things differently. At the time, going out there and standing up on top of the podium just didn't feel right. Bradbury wrote, I've watched that medal ceremony many times. And I just looked 100% apologetic more than anything up there on the podium. I think if I was to do it again today, I'd go out there and I'd accept the gold medal but I wouldn't stand up on the top of the podium. I'd just make the guy come around to the side and put it on me and stay off the podium. But back then, after I had a few quiet moments to myself, I decided I'd take the medal. Not for that race itself, but for the 14 years of hard work in the lead up to that race. He also wrote about his other Olympic medal. Having been part of the 5,000 meters short track relay team that won bronze in 1994 at the Lillehammer Olympics. It was the first ever medal won at the Winter Olympics by any Australian or Southern Hemisphere athletes, he wrote. We had some notoriety when we came back, which was nice. And I suppose in a way that was the beginning of where winter sports started to get on the map. In the sporting landscape in Australia. And while most think of Bradbury as simply the accidental victor. He had actually been one of the world's best earlier in his career. And had gone to Lillehammer as the favourite for the individual event, however he was taken. Out by another skater in the first round. I would obviously have preferred to have won when I was the best in the world. But that's not the way it turned out. Would I be as well remembered if I'd won in 1994? Probably not. Either way, it still would have been the first Winter Olympics gold medal for the Southern Hemisphere, so it would have been a difficult one to forget. But it's hard to say how my life would have panned out if I'd won in the traditional way. As for the saying that his achievement created? I'm proud of that and it makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up every time I hear it. I love it. Pyeongchang 2018, Australian sporting royalty Stephen Bradbury made history in 2002 when he won. Australia's first gold medal at a Winter Olympic Games. Only days out from the opening ceremony for the Pyeongchang 2018 Games. Bradbury shares his memories on his Olympic medals. His favorite Winter Olympic moments and what he is looking forward to at Pyeongchang. What are your memories of winning bronze in Lillehammer and gold in Salt Lake? Bronze at Lillehammer was a significant moment in Australian sporting history, our first winter medal. For Kieran Hansen, Andrew Murtha, Richard Nizielski, John Ka and myself it was a long time coming. As favourites at the previous Winter Games in Albertville. 
We crashed out and winning bronze in Lilyhammer enabled us to put that lost opportunity behind us and made the moment a little sweeter. Back in Australia we were the talk of the town and it helped put winter sport on the map in our sun-drenched nation. Memories of those times and teammates I will never forget. The gold in Salt Lake is a hard one to forget. I'd have preferred to win that race eight years earlier in Lilyhammer when I was arguably the best 1000 meters skater in the world. Unfortunately I got knocked over. Having three skaters fall in the semi-final and four fall in the final made it a little difficult to accept the medal at first. I decided to accept it not for the 90 seconds of the race but for the four Olympics. A skate through my leg, a broken neck and five hours a day. Six days a week of training for 14 years. Outside of your own, what has been your favorite Winter Olympic moment by an Australian athlete over the years? Lydia Lassala at the 2014 Sochi Olympics winning bronze. I was lucky enough to be there with a handful of other Aussies and when it came up on the board that she was going to try to land the full, double full, full, quad twisting triple somersault we all gasped a little as no woman had ever attempted it before lied came so close to sticking it and even though she over rotated a little she still got the bronze so much guts little lied is a bloody inspiration hope she gets another gold in pyeongchang if you've not seen it google the will to fly it's the best sports doco ever made what are you most looking forward to, an event or athlete, for Pyeongchang 2018? I'd love to see Alex Pullin get that elusive medal in the snowboard cross. Britt Cox is the favorite in the moguls and can Scotty James beat Sean White in the snowboard? Halfpipe, I bloody hope so. I'm biased though and can't go past my sport of short track. Aussie Deanna Lockett in the 1,500 meters and the 1,000 meters I'm busting to see her show the world her best. Skating when it counts. She has worked incredibly hard for so many years. Cheer for her Australia.